Hello guys, welcome to Global Perfusion Community. So in this video, we are going to see the anatomy of the heart. So if you wonder how the human heart works or why is it so important, you are at the right place. Today we are diving into the anatomy of the heart and you will get to know about your heart, how the heart works and why is it important. So first of all, what is a heart? The heart is an organ which is a size of a fist but don't get fooled with its size because it is incredibly powerful. It weights around 250 to 350 grams based on the age and gender. It is so powerful that it pumps the blood throughout the en entire body to each and every 37 trillion cells. So why does the body need the blood? So the body needs the blood to get nutrients and oxygen to perform daily activities and to keep on moving. So the heart helps the body by pumping the blood throughout the body. So here's something fascinating about the heart. So throughout the day, the heart pumps around 7500 liters of blood, which is enough to fill a small swimming pool so so in an average lifetime the heart beats around 3 billion times so why is the heart important well think of it as the engine of the body so you need the heart to keep your body moving so that you can perform your daily activities without the heart your body wouldn't survive because the cells in your body needs oxygen and nutrients which is supplied through the blood and the heart helps the body by supplying blood to each and every cells and organs to perform basic functions like repairing the tissues, removing toxins. So where is the heart located? So the heart is located in the center of the thoracic cavity. So what is a thoracic cavity? It is a rib cage which is made up of ribs and the middle bone which is the chest bone, the breast bone or the sternum. So it is protected by the rib cage which acts like a shield to the heart. Interestingly, the left side of the heart is uh, a bit larger and that is the reason you feel the left side of your heart is more stronger or you feel the bit a bit stronger on the left side. The right side pumps the blood to the lungs and the left side pumps the blood to the entire body. When does the heart work? Heart works all the time, 24 into 7. When you are sleeping or when you are moving when you are exercising, the heart is continuously working. The moment you are born, the heart keeps on beating till the very last breath. And amazingly, your heart keeps on beating when it is disconnected from the body until unless it has some oxygenated blood in it. Who controls the heart? This is the most interesting part about the heart. The heart has its own controlling system or which we call it as the conduction system. This is the electrical system of the heart which helps the heart in pumping the blood or it helps the heart in contraction. And because of this contraction, the blood is pumped from the heart to the body. That doesn't mean that the brain doesn't have any control on the heart. The brain or the autonomic nervous system has control on the heart by controlling the heart rate. If you are excited, it speeds up the heart rate. When you are exercising or when you are scared, it speeds up the heart rate. And when you are relaxed, it slows down the heart rate. It is controlled by the autonomic nervous system. So how does the heart work? Heart has four chambers and it is divided into two parts, left and 
right so the right side has two chambers and the left side has two chambers and the upper chambers are called the atria and the lower chambers are called the ventricles so there are four chambers the right atrium right ventricle left atrium and left ventricle so the right atrium has the deoxygenated blood which is pumped into the right ventricle and from the right ventricle the blood is pumped to the lungs primary artery so the blood get oxygen in the lungs and it gets oxygenated and it comes to the heart in the left atrium so from the left atrium the blood is pumped to to the left ventricle and which is very important because the left ventricle pumps the blood to the entire body and the blood is pumped through the aorta and it goes to the upper limbs and the lower limbs simple as that the heart has four chambers and each chamber has its own work so there are four walls in the heart right atrium and the right ventricle has a wall which is called as the tricuspid valve the left atrium and the left ventricle has a valve which is called as the mitral valve so from the left ventricle the blood is pumped into the aorta and in the aorta there is a valve which is called as the aortic valve and from the right ventricle the blood is pumped to the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary artery has a valve which is called the pulmonary valve there is a interesting fact that the pulmonary artery is the only artery in the body which carries deoxygenated blood and when the pulmonary artery carries the deoxygenated blood into the lungs the lungs gives back the oxygenated blood and this blood is carried into the left atrium by the pulmonary veins so the pulmonary veins are the only veins which carry oxygenated blood into the heart and this is the basic anatomy of the heart in the next video we'll see in detail about the cardiovascular system so stay tuned and don't forget to like subscribe and share if you like the video comment your suggestion your doubts and we'll make a video about your doubts we'll try to clear the doubts and all the best and stay tuned